to my channel again. So today I'm going to be telling you how to add gloss to your GFX rig. So as you know, if you've watched some of my other GFX tutorials, you must load a base plate in Roblox Studio. I do not know if I opened a base plate or if I just opened something else. Oh. Let me find out real quick. Oh god. So it's not responding now, so I don't think uh maybe it's because I'm rendering a video of Discord. Actually I should close Discord. Let me just uh okay. So it turns out I did load a base plate and I don't know why it took so long to load. But um if you don't already have your your load character plugin, chain of models and plugins, and you can search load character. When I first got started to want to make GFXs, I literally couldn't find it anywhere. I don't know why I know how to get it because everyone these are all outdated tutorials, so I was like manage plugins. But click click this and and then yeah and I couldn't understand that. See I've got a lot of plugins. But um, you just select the free one and click install. Then in your plugins tab, uh, click load character. And if you want to make a GFX song, stay. Um, we should make a GFX song. Very gentle. Okay, very gentle. She makes really good, like, what do you call them, models for GFXs. So, yeah. So, if you're gonna make sure there's an X, choose spawn at origin and click spawn R6 or R6 from the present. And um, you should have this avatar um, um, over here. You don't have to move over to it, just select it. Yeah, we're in your explorer. Now, for some reason, my recording system, it doesn't record when I right click. Uh, and then all the options come up, so we right click on it. Okay, right click and click export selection. Like, okay, so now this thing should open, like your file explorer. So I'm just going to make a new folder and I'm just going to call it GFX. There's no other names to call it. So you're just going to I'm gonna give it a fun name, just very J Hulk. I'm gonna be spelling this perfectly. Okay. So now depending on how fast your computer is, things should be great. If they don't, then you've got a fast computer. Now open Blender 2.79. Okay, so now you should open in to blend. So first thing you're gonna do is go up to the top and input your rig. So now you have your rig in place. Okay, you can check the limbs. My limbs are currently like broken. I don't know what's wrong with them. I still have to eat yet to fix it. But you're just gonna delete the head because this is not a full tutorial. I presume you know how to set an GFX. I did do a tutorial recently on how to make a GFX for a rig. So if you don't know how to do that please go and watch it already because you know I don't want to give you another tutorial because it's okay. So you're going to just import your texture, then close node editor and open import your head. Wait, why did I, mm, okay, so actually, oh by the way, the reason I am not using a model today model is because I'm actually rendering a YouTube video um, and Premiere is very slow computer anyway runs down with the battery and stuff so um i can't necessarily use a model it won't go the best
right clicking on one of your limbs then going over here to your materi material tab and going to shader add shader click click new add shader and click principled bsdf now your character should turn white over in in the material tab go, scroll down and change your roughness to zero after doing that then change your IOR to 2 scroll down and changing transmission to 0 0.2 now you can add a HRI by going to the earth icon and clicking use nodes clicking the dot beside the gray color and then clicking environment texture then once you've done that open your HRI I get all my HCRIs of HCRI Haven. It is a really good place to get free HCRIs. Your, av your avatar should be white. Open your node editor and, and then you should see that there is no image texture. So go over to this node here and click Shift and A on your keyboard. Then go into image, or go into texture and then click image texture. Then put it beside base color. Connect the, the dot from from your t image texture to, and connect it to base color from the other node. Then open your texture. Now now you can go into quick render mode and check out how your glass looks like on your rig. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and that's all for today. Bye. Yo!